Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913. We are Let's Playing Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter. Bonus episode. In the last episode, we got Nina and Lin, and now we are ready to continue our journey up the old way shaft. We'll pick up a footloose. And we will give that to... Oh, it's... oh, never mind. I'm not giving it to anybody. Whee! Eat it, treasures. Treasure guys. I love this. This is great. Alright, let's continue. I'm not even going to bother with uh, some of the blue chests. Just do the fact that uh, I already got them before. But actually, so let me explain how this game... Oh, look. We got ourselves a danger room. Oh. Anyway, so let me explain how um, the uh, system works. Look at that. Now I got a footloose to, to use. And, uh, there we go. So anyways, how this game works, uh, I might as well explain it now with the uh, bonus content. Basically, how it works is... Huh? What'd you say? Someone's talking to me. Someone's talking to me in the side. I'm trying to get on with it, but I'm trying to fight enemies all at the same time. Anyways, the game takes your best parts of the your playthroughs. Okay, so let's say you play this game four times, all right? And the, the first time, you fight every battle, and you do, you do pretty good, like, um... Like initiating combat and getting combat over in like the first turn or so, and battle experience and all that. There's a various amount of points that you get that adds up, and it'll, that these these points, if you get more of them, your D ratio will be down. Another thing, uh oh, uh oh. Anyways, another thing that that uh, rules out is like how much of the map you complete. So you can complete the map. Let's so so let's say on the first playthrough you get you fight every every monster you can fight, all right? And you get you know you do really good. You get like ten points or whatever. And then the next time you go through, you have a higher D ratio. So you go through every little piece of the uh, of the uh, area that you can go through, you know, the game. And then that's points. And then another thing that you get points for is how many. T oh, look at that. Here's a soul. Did I already see this? So anyways, what else? Well, let's just uh, watch this scene. And then I'll continue discussing how the how you add up with D ratios and whatnot. Don't you want to know what she is? No, not really. If I ask, criminal. Yeah, you see how Tr Trinity's like some, uh, Trinity's like, uh, you know, uh, quote unquote bad organization. Truth is, even I don't know what it is. Ha! I wasn't told. Ranger. Go. Yeah, so this game does focus, uh, this game does focus on Nina quite a bit, as someone was mentioning. So Lynn there is talking about the world ro the rangers try to protect, and she's just saying how she doesn't think it's worth it to protect the world. Or whatever. Anyways, so then, then... You know, there's this bonus dungeon that we'll eventually get to in the, with the fairies, and if depend uh, depending on how many floors you go down, you get points for that. And then there's points for uh, what else? I forget what else there's points for, but yeah, the lo lower your D, D ratio is, the faster you beat the game. You get various points, so there's all kinds of different categories. And, uh... At the end of it, you know, the more points you have throughout all your playthroughs, okay? 
So you don't have to get Dragon, because the, the main goal, if you really want, is to get Dragon Quarter, which is, uh, you know, what the game, you know, is one quarter, which would even be better than Bosch. Anyways, now we can finally go in to this area. And we can go into this door. And look, we gotta fight zombie guys. But we're not going to because, if you remember correctly, this, there's one little guy that controls all the zombie guys. And I'm pretty sure that's him. Hmm. Ah, shit. Anyways, uh... What else? So anyways, you add all those points up. And it adds up to higher D ratios. So, like one playthrough, you're gonna want to beat the game as fast as you can. One playthrough, you're gonna want to check out all the uh, new areas. And then on another one, you're gonna want to do something else. You know what I mean? Let's just use this. So yeah, pretty cool. And so you want to collect, like, on one on one area, you want to collect all the treasures you can possibly get. You know, on one, on one uh, area, you want to, I don't know, collect, you know, do all the, do as much stuff as you can. Oh, I see the guy over there. I can't run through here. Running around. So, yeah, what we need to do is fight this guy. And if you remember correctly, this guy, his name is, uh... Alright, I just screwed that up. I could have done more. This guy's name is Charon or something like that. Basically, he controls... Oh, his name is Lesser Charon. So this is a brand new area that we've never been to. Which is kind of cool. So yeah, this is actually one of the reasons why you gotta play through the game once again. What the hell, man? Where'd you get all that unbridled power? And there we go, we beat him. And we get a ghost stone. Nice. Use up these heal kits. Some more space. Get the treasure key. Open this up. This is something that we never, we weren't able to get before, and we get weakened. I don't remember if we already know weakened. No. All right. So what weakened does? I think that that uh, it's a level one ability, and it reduces the enemy's power by ten percent. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So yeah, here's a, this was a new area we could go to, courtesy of our higher D ratio. I actually think with my with this D ratio, I might be able to hit every extra spot in the in the um, on our way up. Yeah, what the hell? I'll just show this battle. But um, yeah. So you would add all those points up and get D Dragon Quarter, and I'm not exactly sure what. Uh, the Dragon Quarter, like, thing is. Man, there's all these bugs. Alright. So, yeah. Uh... Nah, that's probably nothing I want. So yeah, they, they want you to go through this game uh, multiple times. I'm not even going to pick that up. Most of the stuff, if you actually went through the game fairly uh, good the first time, you really don't need to... Uh, you really won't have to deal with uh, getting a bunch of crap that all the enemies drop until near the end. Party XP. There we go. 
Let's take this guy on. Sure, why not? That's it. That's all you got there, Ryu. Now, like I said, I don't think this guy is weak to anything, but I'm just going to use the, the Fire Blast. Inferno combo. Ah, oh, so close. And there we go, dead. Dead as dog nails. And look, here's another room that, that quite possibly was... Oh, don't pick it up. Quite possibly was locked beforehand. Now not locked. Oh, I need to go around to get that. Well, let's go in this new area. Opening the door. I wonder what's over here. Oh, look, large ants. Dear God. Okay, so... Let's try to take on these Jagoffs. Yes, all go for the meat. You will meet your end. Yeah, see, with a very, with a fairly powerful sword, you can easily, you can easily take on a, quite a many enemies. Let's move up a little bit more and uh, use it on you. Sure. I don't even know what these guys would be weak to. Ah, fireworks. Not dead? Seriously. Nicely done on staying alive. So you do get, you do get a uh, fairly good... Oh, we get proteins. Nice. Anyways, we got a treasure key somewhere, but let's let's take these proteins. They're all going to Nina. Actually, there was something I wanted to look at here. Oh, I want to change up a skill here. Since Ryu has side slash already put here, I'm gonna put vertical slash so that if I want to, I can do a, an X strike. Anyways, where's that treasure key? pick it up and grab this treasure. No, 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 no. Grab this treasure that we never were able to get. And let's see what's in here. A G Ice Blast. Which is a trap uh, thing. Level 2. Very nice. So this is a whole new world right here. A new fantastic place that's fun and new. I can go anywhere, something else, something else. Look, more ants. Alright. 50 party EXP. A bomb. You know what? I don't even care if you guys run away. Picking up junk and picking up bombs. And look at this. We get this thing, which... I don't know what it is, but we'll take it. Give it a bombs. Who knows what that is? Could be magic. And look, we're checking out another area. Probably, well, actually, this is this probably leads to a place we might have already been to, or we haven't checked out yet. Let me see something. No, we're doing fairly good. All right, yeah, we gotta go this way. Bye, big bug. Alright, we picked up a trauma kit. But we're carrying too much, so I'm just gonna drop a foot loose. Don't need him. Wee! Aww. Oh. Wee! Who doesn't love running real fast? Alright, we're almost to the top, I think. I could be wrong. 
Whee! And, uh... Yeah, I don't know if it matters which way I go here. As I... Yeah, they probably both lead to the same spot. Oh, uh, here's this thing here. And look, computers. We gotta be almost out here, I think. Yeah, so it is pretty nice of them not to, uh, take away... Yeah, hit ya. Eat it, guy. It is pretty nice of them not to... Uh, I have to deal with any stuff. I guess I'll fight him. Oh, no treasure key? got that that box anyways so let's just run through here like no one's business I love hitting these blocks in, in our in our rush form you get a heal kit oh yeah this is the area where if you kill all the uh, if you kill all the ants the big ant comes down and he's all mad and junk yeah I remember this area And let's pick up this, run this way, through here, and look at that. We made it to a new area. This is a soul. Man will gain wings. Hortensa, tell us again. Yes, Hortensa, you remember, she was the, uh, she's like the prophet chick. There's Elon, that's Hortensa. And the sky will return to the world. It was a clear vision, but I do not think it is time. This time has come. And that is, uh, that is, uh, Macbeth there, I think. I concur, I don't see men going wings anytime soon. And he was a dragon slayer, just like, uh, just like, uh, Bosch's dad down the end there. And apparently one of the regents doesn't didn't show up. I think his name was Jesuit. I don't think he shows up. But look at that. We made it just in time to the end sector burrow. And I'm going to stop the episode here. And we will continue through our journey towards the top. Once again, this has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.